Hey, Dust265 here for a tutorial on importing custom skeletal meshes and animations from Blender to UDK. I'm assuming in this video that you're already familiar with the basics of both. The more commonly known 3D modeling packages like Maya and 3ds Max have a readily available plugin called Actor X, which is actually supplied by Epic, the company which is behind what is UDK and originally Unreal Tournament. Blender, however, doesn't have that luxury. But being freeware, we can make plugins like that ourselves. Here's one Python script that I found that uh, works for me. There may be better ones out there, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll just uh, you know use this one. So first off, we need to make sure our script that we just downloaded, have it on the desktop, is located in the scripts file of Blender. So for me, that's program files, Blender Foundation, Blender, dot Blender, scripts, and then just make sure it's moved in there. Yes. check make sure it's there yep okay so now we can go ahead and open blender so I have here a basic mechanical claw so you can see it's UV unwrapped and already has a texture if you want to find out how to do that there are some great tutorials if you go to wiki books and search noob to pro now I also have an armature that is parented to the mesh and I have two animations and so before we actually export this there are a couple things we need to make sure of and one of those is that the, the pivot point, the base of both the armature and the mesh are exactly the same otherwise when you export them they won't be aligned properly and it's not going to work out for you and another thing is that also we have to convert quads to triangles in the mesh and so as you can see there are no quads in it I've already done that, convert quads to triangles and that way you won't have any issues when you export it. And also, please note the script does not have a selection option yet, so you can only have one skeleton and one mesh in your blend file. However, they should be solving that pretty soon. So now that we have that over with, let's go over to our scripts window and do update menus. That just basically just does a recompile of all the scripts that are in the script file. And so we just go to scripts, choose the script we want. Which should be export Unreal Mesh Skeletal Mesh Animation. Choose where I want to export it. I'll export it straight to the desktop. And sure, that's fine. Export the file. Export complete. So now we should be able to see if we go to the desktop. We got a PSK and a PSA file. Okay, so now you can close Blender and it open UDK. Okay, and I'm running this on the August release, by the way. And so, open the content browser and select import. And so, you just go to desktop, find your PSK file, and save it in whatever package you want. I'll save it in tutorial. And the name, but the claw. Okay, and so there you have it. You have the claw. That is your skeletal mesh, which you just finished importing. And so then the way you import the actual animations of that skeletal mesh, so as you can see, we have the skeletal mesh here. And so what you do is you choose the, the anim. So you don't have any anims there. So what you need to do is you right click in the content browser, new anim set. So in the package tutorial, Let's do the claw anim. Okay. And so let me just choose the claw as our skeletal mesh that we want to use. And in the anim, there's the anim. Make sure it's selected. File import PSA. On the desktop, you can see our PSA file. Open that, and you can see it automatically has two animations. So as you can see in Blender, it has the animations files and here it has the animation sequences so it actually remembers that and saves it as two different files so as you can see here we have one animation and here we have the other one perfect and there we go just on a side note if you notice the scale between UDK 
and uh, Blender. Let's see, so add actor, add skeletal mesh actor. And you see, it's tiny. You can hardly see it. But that's it right there. That, see if I can zoom in enough. That's our mesh. That tiny little thing is our mesh. And you see in Blender, it's huge. So you gotta remember that the, the scale as well is very different between Blender and UDK. So let's see if this, there we go. From here it gets more complicated in how to actually use this in a game. A simple way to test that however is to have a matinee and activate in Kismet to play the animation when you hit a trigger. I don't have time for a full tutorial on that, but suffice to say in matinee you make a new skeletal mesh group under the properties of that group, select your anim set, then on the anim track, just hit enter and lay an animation. Pop-up menu will ask you which of the animations of the anim set you want to use. So that's all for today. Thank you for taking time to watch this. Hope you learned through it. Hope to see you again in another tutorial.